Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a video on this dump pouch. This is the name and the price on Amazon. This was sent to me for free, but I'm actually sent a good amount of shit and I don't always review it unless I think it's applicable to the channel and worth doing a video on. I like this one because it can see it folds up very compact. Here's size comparison next to a 30 round P mag. But it unfolds in a way that really gives you some capacity. I think this is a much bigger and better dump pouch than the only one I've used for comparison, which is Condor, which is not the best. However, this really gives you a good idea of what you're looking for. Now, to be fair, when it's folded up, the stitching across the not important points are single stitched, but around your edges, you've got double stitched, double stitched, double stitched. The bottom here, you've got single stitching, but I don't feel that that's going to blow out. It's made of really good quality material. And you can see the inside single stitched as well across the bottom. I think this is going to be plenty durable, but this is not that video. This is not a durability video. This is not a long-term review video. This is just what I think can the applications of this dump pouch could be. Okay. And so we're just going to jump right into it. Now, first of all, there's the obvious uh, loaded mags, empty mags extra magazines to carry on your battle belt, plate carrier, chest rig, whatever you've got that's got molly on it. Now, this is exceptionally large. Here's two P mags, four P mags. We'll get some more. Six P mags, eight P mags. And I think nine, you're just about pushing the capacity of this pouch. However, that still closes up. Like, I mean, I realize that's a lot of shit to put in a dump pouch. However, if you've got quality gear, it'll hold up to it. Now, the molly webbing on the outside, probably a little much, considering the fucking capacity you've got with this thing. But we're gonna go ahead and unload the, whoop. We're gonna shove these back in for just a second. Close up this pouch. Now this dump pouch itself actually has side pockets. It's got two of them, and it's got a little Velcro pouch on the front. Now I'm not sure what you'd shove in that front pouch, but on these side pouches, here you go. You've got another extra Glock 17 round magazine. Other side. Glock 17 round magazine. Now this is packed ridiculously tight, but you get the idea. You've got all these P mags. You've got two more Glock magazines. This whole thing right here is a resupply. This entire dump pouch itself. I mean, you could stage this somewhere and have this be your cache, if you will. Something you could pick up supplies with. It doesn't have to be all one thing or all of another. It's just the fact that you have endless capabilities with this. So we had two, four, six, eight. We had nine AR-15 magazines in there at one time. That's 270 rounds. That's more than your average combat loadout. Now, as far as pistol magazines, you got two, four, six, eight, you got 10 pistol magazines right there. And you're not even starting to fill up the capacity. And those are just nine millimeter magazines. I mean, then you could, you could even shove in a couple 50 round boxes of nine millimeter ammo. Close that up, that's a resupply. Say you're running some type of carbine and you don't have 33 round stick mags for some reason. There you go, you've got that. I mean, I think that is just, the possibilities with this thing are in. 
but we're gonna get past the whole magazine stage of it. Okay, say everyday applications. Say you bought a cheap battle belt type thing off of Amazon. Either it's a spare kit or something you can wear into the woods squirrel hunting. Okay, so you got shotgun shells. There's 50, 20 gauge shells right there. And it's not even full. It can still close. Still a functional pouch. Still got your side pouches. Carry you an extra pistol magazine. And whatever it may be. So you got, it can hold 50 rounds of 20 gauge. It's also got this right here. It comes out on top. You can cinch it down. So if it's not closed or folded up, you've got this cinch strap. And that increases the capacity even more so. Not to mention the fact you could shove bottles of water in here. I mean, that's just three bottles of water. Ima imagine the capacity of this thing. It's, it's monstrous, but I think it's useful. I would love to have one of these for every spare kit like every buddy kit that you've got laying around should have a dump pouch because that kit needs to be more modular than anything because you don't know what they will or will not have and if you're preparing for this type of scenario it'd be nice for somebody to have something to put their shit in i mean you could fit a whole survival kit in here if you wanted to uh, a gun cleaning kit um Say you're at the range using this. You could pick up your brass if you reload. You could pick up your shotgun shells if you're on your own property and you don't want to leave a mess. I mean, medical. We got two tourniquets. We got one eye fact. And it's not even close to full. You could have this as a whole medical resupply. Or you could do a little bit of everything. You've got a tourniquet, two P mags, two pistol mags, a bottle of water. And it's not even close to full. I mean, this thing can hold just a very solid amount of shit without being too excessive. Like, it's not the size of a backpack, but it's a really good size kit. I think everybody should give this thing a try. I mean, you could shove small animals into this. Squirrels, couple rabbits. I mean, wild edibles. You got berries, anything like that. Um, MREs, you could probably fit two or three MREs in here. If I had them on, on hand right now, I would show you that. Toilet paper, I mean, this could fit all of your toilet paper for a long time. But you can still fit two whole rolls of toilet paper in this dump pouch. The possibilities for this are absolutely endless. And then you still have this little small front pouch you could keep a loaded magazine in it and then just have this open to retain your empties. You can have a loaded rifle mag, two loaded pistol mags, and then an open pouch to retain your empty magazines. I think this is very underestimated. It's one of those no-name brands on Amazon who actually made a solid product. I don't know if this is modeled after something. I'm not big enough into the gear community to know if there's something like this that's a better brand name. But if this thing holds up as far as durability, I highly recommend everybody pick one up. I highly recommend you at least give this thing a try. And if it fills a niche for you, that's awesome. It's a solid product for a little over $20 I and mean, you can't beat that. But that's about all I've got to say for this. I just wanted to go over a few of the different applications for a dump pouch, more specifically, the applications for a larger dump pouch such as this one so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful like comment uh, share this video with your friends i'm coyote and thank you for watching